Hello friend, welcome to my channel 5 Minute Pediatric. Few days back I posted the, this question. The question was related to this greenish spot in a normal newborn baby uh, over lumbosacral region. So what were the diagnosis? So this is a case of Mongolian spot. So Mongolian spot uh, earlier we considered it as a normal entity but uh, now there is some point that you have to remember uh, you have to further work up in that condition. So, Mongolian spot are the congenital birthmark that are seen mostly over the lumbosacral region, that is the gluteal area. They are bluish green to black in color and oval in shape and are non blanching hyperpigmented patches. So, wh what are the reasons behind the blue color? The reason behind blue color is due to Tyndall effect. It is a phenomena where light is scattered by particles of matter in its path. So dermal pigmentation appear gray, gray, blue or gray, black because these colors have a shorter wavelength and are reflected to the skin surface. Color with longer wavelengths yellow, orange, red, uh, 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 orange, red are reflected and uh, not reflected and are continued to into a deeper part of the skin. So this is a reason Tyndall effect is the reason behind this color. Now, they are mostly found in African or Asian ethnic background. Uh, they are mostly usually presented at gluteal region and at birth or uh, during the first week of life they appear. These lesions uh, are more prominent at the age of one year and start regressing thereafter, uh, with most of them disappear by early childhood. Although these lesions resolve by one or two year of age, uh, if it is widespread, extrasacral and dark color, sometimes it persists into the adulthood. Uh, aberrant uh, Mongolian squid uh, over uh, um, occiput temple mandibular area, shoulder and limbs may be confused with other uh, dermal melanocytosis. So you have to keep in mind this. Uh, traditionally, it was believed to be benign in nature. Now they have been shown to coexist with uh, some inborn error of metabolism. The common inborn error of metabolism includes gangliosidosis GM1, mucopolysaccharidosis type 1 hurler and uh, type 2 hunters. Uh, other includes mucolipidosis, nymen pig disease and menocytosis. They have also uh, been coexist with various vascular and other pigment birthmark like cafeloy spots. If it is, if you get this any of uh, the above, so you have to screen this baby for the same. So take home message is that now it is no, no longer considered to be benign. There is a possible relationship between these birthmark and IEM. So you have to work up uh, accordingly. A recent study have shown that if it is extra secular, sacral, diameter more than 10 cm, dark color and multiple patches, uh, this should uh, persist beyond one year and you have to think of other causes. Uh, further research is needed to establish the association between these markers and presence of IEM. Hope so enjoyed this video. Kindly like, subscribe and follow my channel. Thanks. Thanks for watching.